Alrighty then, so this video is the first video we're making with the Ender Bender on actually how to calibrate the belt. Now on a printer like this, a 45 degree belt printer, um, the belt is considered the Z-axis in the firmware. That's how it recognizes it because it's infinity Z, like let's say infinite, a very infinitely tall object. That's exactly how the firmware will recognize it and the slicers do as well. Uh, this is at a 45 degree angle, as you know. Uh, this printer is based off of an Ender 3 Pro. Uh, we swapped out the main board for a newer board called an SKR Mini E3 V3 board. Now, that board is, uh, is better, in my opinion, and the fact that it's a drop-in replacement for all Enders. And it also has, you know, TMC2209 stepper drivers inside them. So it helps with the micro stepping. Okay, let's start this up. Now, off the bat, just for your knowledge, to calibrate the belt, the Z belt, it's the same as you would calibrate your um, extruder for extruding filament, and we're just cal calibrating how many steps it needs. So, as you can see, we're firing it up. First thing you're gonna need to do, I'm gonna make this video short and sweet. So, first thing you need to do is go to the temperature, go to the bed and heat it up. You can heat it up to whatever temperature you're usually printing at. In this case, I have a preset here of 45. It doesn't need to be 45. I usually use actually 60, but in this case, I set it here at 45. It's already close to temperature, so let's start to do this. First things first, we take a Sharpie or any other pen that can mark and mark anywhere back here on the board between the metal and the belt, the metal aluminum plate that is. What you're going to do is you're going to make a one straight pass and you're going to have it marked on the board. That's your starting point. You're going to have handy a calipers, the best, or any ruler that has centimeters or millimeters, or you could do the conversion on your own, but we're doing in millimeters here. So, bed is heated up. And now we're going to go to the menu with the motion. Uh, we're going to move. We're going to move the Z, because remember this is the Z axis now. And we're going to move it 100 millimeters. And as you can see, it's going. Let it go. <laughs> like the song. And until it stops. That was an interesting stop. Okay, it stopped. And how we know, um, here we go, and we're just to make sure that we have, see it said 100 on the screen over here. But too much glare, so you can't really tell, but I can tell. All right, so if it was 100, this is 150 millimeters on this, so I would just literally go on the bed. It's warm, so keep in mind, go to the first line and go to the last line. And it's almost a hundred. I would say it is a hundred. Hold on. Yeah, mine's fully calibrated. But if it wasn't fully calibrated, we're going to make an example in this case. Let's say it over extruded 150 mill millimeters, just for argument's sake. Then we're going to have to make sure it calibrates right because it's over overshooting its mark. But what you would do is you would take this E steps, which is from 100 millimeters, you find out how much was, was extruded. Usually they under extrude or over extrude, but in this case, it was spot on, about 100 millimeters over there. You can use a calipers to make it easier for you. And here's the next bit of information. All printers already have steps inside them in their firmware. You just need to know what yours is. I like to write mine down over here. This way I always have it handy. God forbid something happens to the motherboard or, or uh, back accident I reset something that I shouldn't. In frustration, like we all have, I uh, have it written down and it can't be erased unless, obviously, I lose the sticker. Um, my preset was already at uh, 15, believe it or not. 15 was my E-steps. It's super low, but it works because it has micro-stepping on the TMC drivers like I stated before. But let's say it didn't. But we're going to take that E-steps that we already had, the 15, we're going to go to this website. Alright, sorry about that. Let's readjust the camera. Calculating your E steps. So much glare, hopefully, I can get it focused. 
If it doesn't work, then I'll just tell you that th3dstudio.com forward slash estep calculator forward forward slash. I'll put the link in the description so you don't have to worry about it. Basically, here it does all the math for you. Welcome to our new generation. What it currently asks you, what your current e steps, in our case, it's going to be 15. I don't know if you can see it. You definitely can. Um, but it's, I put 15 here where it says enter your e steps. Then it says, asks you for extruded filament. Now, this is calculator was currently developed for the extruder, but it works also for any um, motor calibration for e steps, that is. So over here we have 15, I put in where you put, enter your current E-steps, and then you go extruded filament. In our case, it's how much the bed actually moved. So enter the actual length that was extruded, or in this case, where the bed actually went. And for argument's sake, we're going to put that it uh, went 150. You can't see it because of the glare, but I guess you'll have to take my word for it. I'll try it out yourself. With that being said, automatically it will calculate your new E-steps. Underneath here, it'll tell you exactly what e-steps you are and you can copy it, write it down somewhere. And then it'll also tell you if you're using a serial connection that's like Pronterface or any terminal connection that's wired to your computer, you can simply type in M92E, in this case, wouldn't be E, this would be Z, so M92Z, um, in this case it's 10, so it's M92Z10. All right. And that would be if you had a serial port. And then obviously after that, you would type in M500. M500 saves your EEPROM. Uh, but again, I would also write it down just in case in the future something resets. If not, we can always go back here to the printer. And we'll go right here. So you click here. Let me just move this monitor slightly down. Perfect. And we will go to... Let's see, configuration, sorry, using Ender Bender mod, advanced settings, I would go all the way down to steps slash millimeters. There you'll have all the steps that you currently have, so if you want to check them. As you can see, mine is set to 15, but if I wanted to change it, just click on it rotate the wheel till it reaches to 10 and click back on it. If the numbers are a huge difference, I would suggest using something like Pronterface or on any other terminal that connects to your printer. After that's all said and done, you go back into the regular configuration settings. You scroll all the way down to store settings and you hear that noise. That means you saved your settings. So as you know right now, the Ender Bender belt is currently fully calibrated and in the next video I'll teach you how to calibrate your Y, which is pretty much the same method.